if anybody's ever had a question on what the veterinarians are looking at when they're OFAing hips, Dr. Dave Thompson, say hello. Hello. Is going to explain what they're looking at. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the way radiographs work is the whiter an image is, the more dense the object. And when we're looking at uh, hip films, um, the the guys at the at OFA are looking for the structures in the uh, in the hip joint. So uh, this structure here is the pelvis. Uh, these guys here are the femurs, and uh, the part of the femur and the pelvis that we're really looking at is the head of the femur and the acetabulum on the pelvis. What's an acetabulum? And that's where the head of the femur fits into the pelvis. So it's so the joint hole. The joint hole, yeah. So it's a ball and socket joint. And so when they're looking at uh, uh, the, the radiographs, we're looking at the coverage of the acetabulum over the head of the femur. And so we look at a, a line that comes right through here and that intersects the growth plate. And so, and then these are excellent hips, or their category is excellent. So there's over 75 to 80 percent coverage of the acetabulum over the um, uh, the growth plate of the head of the femur. So those white lines where your pen is pointing are the growth plates, and they need to be 80 percent coverage. The growth plate is this line here, and the acetabulum is this right line here. So, and then we're also looking at the congruency of the joint. So, um, uh, the we want the the joint to be uh, smooth, and the head of the femur to be smooth, and not to have any big gaps or uh, or any kind of knobby structures or flatness of the head of the femur. And so, if we go to a not excellent hip. If we just look at the severe hip dysplasia. Oops. Which one do you want? Let's go. So if we're looking at severe hip dysplasia, so when in the last image you saw that the uh, the acetabulum bisected the uh, growth plate by 75 or 80 percent, in this case it's probably about 25 percent coverage of where the growth plate sitting here, the head of the femur, and the acetabulum bisecting. Uh, that line. And so, and then in this case, we see the, some flattening of the head of the femur, thickening of the femoral neck, and uh, osteophytes or bone spurs off of the acetabulum. And so we see that on this side, and we see it on the right side with that, and maybe a bone chip even over here, but flattening of the femoral head. And what happens with hip dysplasia is that if we don't have a congruent joint, then the head of the femur kind of rattles around in that joint and causes uh, hip dysplasia or, uh, or arthritis. And so that's the difference between the, um, an excellent and a uh, severe hip dysplasia by OFA. Excellent. Just know that I do not work for OFA. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Do you want to show on the... Um why the difference between the good and the fair? Sure. And there's that one. Good, there's good. Yeah. So fair.
So also, so when we, if we're comparing fair to excellent, we look at the excellent hips and we've got a very circular type of head of the femur. Uh, the joint space is very congruent and, and narrow. If we look at the fair hips, again, pretty, pretty good coverage of the head of the femur and, but we're also starting to get a little bit of flattening of the, in the heads of the femur there too. So, um, so we notice that there's already a little bit of uh, osteoarthritis forming, and that's why it be fair versus the uh, versus the excellent. Excellent. I mean, cool. And, Thanks. Yeah. And as we go down the list of poorness, <laughs> then it, you can see where the it, the joint starts to gap, and the uh, there's less and less coverage of the head of heads of the femurs. So if we start over here, and we see that there's a, a lot of coverage over the head of the femur with the acetabulum or the pelvis, and each one starts to get a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less, and then a lot less. <laughs> cool. And then we get to a severe, a severe case. That one's messed up. That yeah, one's pretty messed up. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy Portland. Bye.